standard version which I posted on my LinkedIn about a few weeks ago. I have added a lot more parts on these particular models. Um, I added the gold fairings as you can see. Um, so none of these casings were presented on the standard version. Um, I also added the two uh, splitter, so one up the splitter here. There's another one down here. Um, there's two A frames here on this model, so there's one on the left here, and there's another one on the right hand side. Um, if you look close enough, you can see there's a step of side gearbox here with a dry shaft that goes through the fan case, and underneath the fan case, you have the uh, external gearbox here as well. Okay, so one of the questions that I will ask on a regular basis is, does it spin? Well, of course it does, right? Um, and then also a lot of other people ask me um, how did I design this model or uh, does this model represent any particular engines? Um, the answer to that question is no. I did not design this model based on any particular engines. However, I did base my design on a two shaft um, 3D printed jet engine model uh, on Thingiverse, which is designed by Katia V5 FTW, as you can see here. Um, so I based my design uh, loosely on these particular models. And if you want to have a go with that, you can just go on Thingiverse and you can search for 3D printable jet engines, um, then you can get the design. But uh, unfortunately, my design is not yet on Thingiverse. Um, hopefully, it will someday. Okay, so let me give you a very, very quick demonstration how to convert from this model into a cutaway version which shows all you the internal bits. Um, so the first part that I want to remove is the exhaust nozzle. All I have to do really is just to detach it from the tail bearing housing. Um, it's so easy because that part is mounted to this, just using five small magnets. So all you have to do is just to pull it out like that. Next part is the upper splitter. So there you go. That is the upper splitter on the engine. Next one is going to be the A-frame, just like that. So that is the A-frame on the engine. You can clearly see it's core A-frame because it looks like a letter A. Next one is going to be the core fairing. So I'm going to remove a small section of the core fairing. There you go. Uh, these two slot here. I actually used to locate the A-frame on it, just like that. Okay, next, I have to remove that section of the LP turbine case. So, what I have to do is to loosen it a little bit, just like that. You can start to see the internals of the models here. Right, next one. I'm going to remove all these casing here, very simple, just like that, all in one go. Okay, so the very last part that I have to remove is that big section of the fan case. It's really easy to remove, all I have to do is just to pull it out, just like that. Um, as you can see here, that part is mounted to this by four magnets, so there's four, so there's two here and there's two magnets on the main parts. Um, there's a little bit of locating features here as well. And also I've got a small section of the IP compressors case bolted to that big fan case. So, there you go. That is a 3D printed three shaft jet engine.